This is a Black Friday deal you are going to dig. Stick around. Brian G. Johnson. Brian G. here and to grow on YouTube, stake your claim and amplify your message. Do that by subscribing. Click on the bell notification and you'll be on your way. Hey, check it out. I got to say thank you so much for watching my videos, hanging out, sending over the amazing comments. I really appreciate it. You helped me to get this. And this is what I got in order to celebrate the holidays, in order to come up with a really fantastic Black Friday deal for you, I reached out to my pal Nico over at Morning Fame. Now, a lot of the subscribers to my channel are fully aware of Morning Fame. If you don't have your own suite or copy of Morning Fame, you're going to in just a few minutes. First off, Nico, thank you so much for coming up with an absolutely ridiculous deal <laughs> for Morning Fame. Uh, amazing. And here's what it means to you. This is a full access 30-day pass to everything that Morning Fame has available. You can research your videos. You can do deep dive keyword research. You can understand the competition. And Morning Fame can help you come up with video ideas and so much more. Now, I want to mention a few things. First of all, I highly encourage you to save the link to this video because I'm going to jump on my Mac right over there and I'm going to walk you through Morning Fame and I'm not just going to show you what it does. I'm going to break down a strategy that you can use to get really tremendous results using Morning Fame in December, completely free. You won't spend anything, nothing, nada. It's free for you. Happy holidays from Nico and myself. Now, this particular deal ends when Cyber Monday is over. When Cyber Monday ends, so does this deal. And I'm going to unlist this video because I don't want people feeling like, damn, I really missed out on a huge, incredible deal. Like, how can I get the deal? The deal goes away the day after Cyber Monday. So just know that. And if you want to return to this video to go through the training to help you really grow your channel, see what I'm going to do is I'm not just going to show you the functionality. I'm going to walk you through a strategy. Let's go do it right now. Save the URL, bookmark this video, leave a comment, like the video, do whatever you need to do to save it so you can refer to it in December to grow your channel. And what we have is we actually have several tools built in to the entire Morning Fame suite. What makes this tool really powerful is it, it takes the information directly from your YouTube channel and it breaks down really the authority that your channel commands. Notice here where my cursor is. It knows that my channel has 104,000 subscribers. I've got 6 million channel views and so on, right? Um, I'm a benefit level silver. And notice this drop down menu here. So right now we're on the keyword research, or I'm sorry, we're on the analytics information. Know this. When you sign up, you're going to have access to this. And we have all kinds of information that really helps to see, you know, which videos are helping to grow your channel. Like this video right here helped to grow my channel. Did it make the channel grow? Yes. How many views from subscribers? 7,000. How many views from visitors? This is the key, right? 19,000 videos. And it said, yes, it made the channel grow. So what did I do? I came up with a follow-up, part two, and notice on the original, I gained 173 subscribers, and that's just in the first 11 days. So now this video is probably 16 days old, and it's probably earned me 350 subscribers. Anyway, I made another video, uh, and that video, part two, gained me 145 subscribers. The analytics uh, section of Morning Fame has a lot of different tabs that really helps you understand which videos are working, which ones are not, what to focus on, and more. We can come into Workshop. Some of these tabs might not show up when you first access and connect your channel to Morning Fame. Why? Because Morning Fame has to crawl your channel. It's got to grab all the information, all the data from your analytics, and it's got to pull it in. This is what I want you to pay attention to in December. 
Notice this right here. Subscribers keep coming back. This is really powerful because what you want is you want to drive a lot of views in the first 72 hours after publishing a video. This is called velocity. And notice uh, over the last about five months or so, my number one video in three days drove 24,000 views. This is my benchmark. If I look at some of these other videos, uh, this is a recent video, Your Future. It drove 17,000 views in three days. It's number three, really powerful. Now, when you drive more views, you're more likely gonna get more views in the future, etc. And this is the way you drive views early. How many subscribers are coming back? Back. Now we've got this little blurb about active subscribers. Now mine recently went down. It was all the way up to 10,000, which is just absolutely insane. But it's still doing incredibly well. And why did it drop? Well, because of the videos I recently just published. I published these about two weeks ago or so. Now that they're, they're out, the, the returning visitors has dropped. But still, 7,000 people returning is insane. All you want to do is you just want to see this number go up. Don't get discouraged if your video has, you know, I don't know, if your channel rather has 500 subscribers are returning or 50. All you want to see is this number going up. How are we going to make that happen? We're going to do that by doing this. We're going to leverage the keyword research module in Morning Fame. Now notice this is opening up a new window. And what I really love about this keyword research tool is it gives you ranking opportunity based on your own channel metrics. I have 104,000 subscribers. I have 17,000 views per video over about a 10 day to two week period. I get about 996 likes per video and I drive about 700 comments per video, which I have a hard time keeping up with. But I tell you pals and friends, friend listening and watching, I do my best. This is what I want you to do when you get started. You're gonna come into topic, okay? And it might take a few days for this to populate, but what you're gonna see is you're gonna see ideas from channels that are close or similar to yours, okay? So what we can do is we can see and we can look at other videos that have done well on these particular channels. And we can uh, really understand by data mining how many views the video drove. This one drove 39,000. 975 views in 24 days. And we can also know which videos are doing well by the amount of likes and comments. So here I can actually click show more and I can come up with video ideas based on this. This is what I want you to do to start out once this populates. Again, it might take two or three days maybe four days to populate. Once it does, I want you to come in and I want you to start writing down keyword phrases based on the discover through uh, tool in Morning Fame. The bigger list you have, the more potential video ideas you're gonna create in December. And what I want you to do is if you really want to grow, I want you to focus on publishing videos that are proven winners on other channels. These are the videos right here. So Gallagher, he's probably got hundreds and hundreds of videos and he, these are the top eight. You want to make videos similar to these. You want to create ideas based on this and so on. We can come down to TubeBuddy. We can see more video ideas, uh, things like YouTube growth, uh, how to promote your video. That's an idea, how to promote your video on Reddit. Um, the hard truth about keyword tools, TubeBuddy versus IQ, Brian G. Johnson, etc. These are all uh, tags that... YouTube uh, is seeing and Morning Fame is seeing uh, that there is a big audience for. So you're going to come through these and you're going to really pay attention to the videos that are doing super well. Like this is a great example from uh, Sonny Leonard Doozy. I've actually thought about the same thing. Like, look, I haven't even watched this video yet but I already know what I would talk about. Look, you've got to stop watching YouTube videos and you have to publish 
on a regular basis in order to drive the results you want. So use this as a guide as to what to publish. And then what you're going to do is you're going to select one of these uh, videos to create a, your own video on. I like this one here, how to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So I'm going to select for step two and now notice the tab is step two. Now what we get are all these different types of keyword phrases. What I recommend if you're struggling to grow, if you're a newer channel, select an uncommon keyword phrase and do not think for a minute. It won't allow you to drive a lot of views. It will, they're just not as popular. How can it work? Well, notice this one, it's uncommon, but it starts out with the same thing as this. How to get subscribers on YouTube. Get, get it, get this. How to grow on YouTube. How to get subscribers, how to get your first subscribers on YouTube. How to get more subscribers on YouTube. It's very, very similar. The thing I want you to pay attention to is these check marks. Notice this is a single check and this is a double check check. I want you to select videos based on, or I'm sorry, I want you to select keyword phrases based on double checks. Why? Because it's a, a keyword phrase is showing up on Google and showing up on, guess what? YouTube. So these are keyword phrases that are populating in both YouTube and Google. How to get subscribers on YouTube. If we come to Google and we type in how to get subscribers. There it is. That's a keyword phrase. If we come to YouTube and type it in, how to get subscribers on YouTube, bam. And now look at all the variations. This is what you want to find. You want to find something like how to get subscribers on YouTube fast, Gotcha Life. Gotcha Life is a type of video that younger kids create. And instead of targeting that keyword phrase, you could make a video about this and you can still get views covering this topic and it can help you get off the ground. So that's what you're going to do here. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to select one of these keyword phrases. This one right here, how do I get more subscribers on YouTube? I'm going to select that. And now what I can do is I can select it for step three. And this is where uh, Morning Fame gets really, really good. And here's why. Remember, we're looking at information and, and ranking information. But I don't want you to think we're just trying to show up in YouTube search. We are not. When you select a keyword phrase like how to get more subscribers on YouTube, you still can show up on browse, which is the YouTube homepage. You can still show up in suggested videos, but it does give you an indication of how competitive it is and how many other videos are out there. Now notice we have the double check. So we know this is a keyword phrase in Google and, and YouTube, right? And this is what's so powerful. These grades really break down how competitive it is to score and drive great results on YouTube. This is what I want you to think about. I want you to only select keyword phrases where the potential for relevance is an A, okay? And it's green. When it's green, that means go. It means that you're more likely to drive tremendous results in ranking because these other videos are not very well optimized. In, in fact, guess what? My video is the gateway video. What does that mean? It means that all of these uh, videos were published uh, by channels that have much more authority. Dan Locke has 2 million subscribers. That's 20 times the amount of subscribers as me, and yet I'm number three for how to get more subscribers on YouTube in 2019. And by doing this, by really making sure you've got a relevance of an A, you see, we're not going to see a lot of key, a lot of videos that have this in the title. How do I get more subscribers on YouTube? They'll have part of that, but not all of it. I don't see any that are fully bolded. You see, none of these, it's just a, a few words are selected, they're highlighted in yellow, but we don't have the entire keyword phrase highlighted in yellow. 
that means you have a tremendous opportunity to rank a little bit higher. And that's what I've done here. Even though I'm not as powerful as these other channels, Chaos with 2.7 million, Dan Locke with 2 million, the Tekken Realm with 490,000, uh, Nick Nimmin with 472,000. My channel is much smaller and I'm still ranking. Why? Because I optimized using this tool. So what you do is once you find a, a keyword phrase where you've got pretty good grades and maybe if we did something like Let's add 2019 and watch what happens. Now there are the grades are yellow. The closer to green, the better. So this is even easier to rank for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it for step two. And this is where it gets really, really good. And the reason why is because Morning Fame helps you optimize your title your description, and the YouTube tags for this exact phrase. So notice right now, the relevance is a C, right? It's only 63% optimized. But what if I do this? What if I tap and I drop in the description with the exact keyword phrase? It just went to an A. Now I'm at 90, or I'm sorry, I'm at 83%. Remember, if I come back here, it's a C. It's not that good of a grade and it's yellow. But what I always do is I always target one keyword phrase and then I start my description out with that phrase. And then what I do is I add a YouTube tag based on the keyword phrase again. And now I'm at 91%. Uh, Okay, this is how you can really boost your scoring on YouTube. This is how you can really optimize your videos super well. And what you want to do is you want to write a description that includes uh, related keyword phrases that show up here, right? You can include those. So here you can see I've got a total yellow highlight here, which means the exact keyword phrase is used as a tag. The exact keyword phrase is used as a description. And what you'll notice is we've got 40% uh, of 40% achieved, 40% out of 40%, that's an A. We've got 20% out of 20% achieved for the description because I've started out the description with the keyword phrase. Now I might add some uh, a number of more sent a, a number of more additional sentences describing the video. Now watch if I click on highlight tags, you can see I'm getting some highlights here to see how well I'm really incorporating the keyword phrases that I add as tags into my description. Super super powerful. And that's the power of morning fame. And here's what I want you to know. The longer you use morning fame, the more you target individual keyword phrases and you optimize for those and you're selecting topics for your videos based on high performing videos from similar channels, you're going to do better. I just know it. The key is to stick with it, to publish six or seven or 10 videos in December based on highly performing videos from tab number one, and then to really look at the competition to try to come up with terms that are not too hard to rank for. Ah, we've got more green, a relevant score of an A, uh, likes and comments of a B. How about if I see, is, is there any 2019? How about how to increase YouTube views, which is pretty competitive. Notice the red and the yellow, but what if I do this? Notice we get 2019 and things all of a sudden turn around. And uh, think about this. This is the insurance. By adding 2019, you're going to know that you're going to show up in search. You know you're going to show up in suggested when people are specifically looking for information on 2019. Here's a little sneaky trick for you. Why not target that? Now, first of all, you're going to get this red X, which means you don't normally want to create a video on the subject. There's not that much search volume, but do you think that's going to change? In three or four months? Absolutely. Notice it's all A's for me. Really powerful. So do this. If you want to drive even more views to the videos you're publishing, make sure you check out this video on the screen now that shares some secret strategies that you can use to boost your views. I'll see you on that next video. Watch it 
and you'll feed a poodle. You dig?